All right, time for some trick or treat. What do we think, Herc? Neymar to Inter Miami. Is this a treat for you or a trick? This is a massive treat. You know, when you were a little kid and you'd hope your parents would take you to those really nice neighborhoods where they didn't have like the little mini, you know, yes. candy corn. Yes. No, no. They the had the big Snickers, yep. the big Butterfingers. Mm -hmm. They had the big good kid. This is what it would be for Major League Soccer. This would it be for Inner Miami. We're talking about a guy who I know many want to put out as he's finished. Oh, he's 32 years old. He's coming up an ACL tear. It's Neymar in Miami. What do you guys expect is going to happen? I'll tell you what I expect to happen. 32 years of age. I know what Brazilian people, I know what the Brazilian team with the players like um, Neymar Jr., excuse me, Vinny Jr., with the players like Vinny Jr., the players like Rodrigo, Rafinha, with, with, with those players want, they want Neymar Jr. back on the field because they know Neymar Jr., anywhere around Free injury Neymar is going to be a player that helps them. And if he's going to be good enough to help the Brazilian national team, he's going to be good enough to help Inter Miami. And I'm thinking out loud, where has he played his best football? If you think about when he was happiest and when you're like, yo, this guy has legit claim to be a Ballon d'Or, one of those winners, a, a, a player that's going to take the mantle from Cristiano and, and Messi. It was Neymar. That's as close as we've gotten from anybody else taking that mantle. That's really what it's been about. He's a player that can pro provide, quite frankly, a lot for this franchise. And I, I know people are going to say, well, the salary cap, the salary cap. The hell with the salary cap. <laughs> Major League Soccer doesn't care. Inter yeah. Miami don't care. Come on. Nobody cares. And they'll figure a way to do this. I don't think it's coincidence, Seb, that he just splashed $26 million mm -hmm. on a house in Miami. I think not only does he want it, I think he needs it. He needs to respark his career in only a way that Messi and friends could help him do it. And hopefully that good club form that he will have in MLS and Inter Miami. If you don't believe that, please look at Luis Suarez exhibit A. Exhibit A, okay? And what he's done, Neymar can do that as well. And if he reignites his club career, that's going to translate to the national team where Brazil desperately need him. This is a massive treat and one that I think really has legs. All right, uh, let's give credit where credit is due. Tariq al Nafal, the, on the uh, journalist there that you heard from uh, on the podcast. And yes, Neymar has bought a 26 million her dollar property. Apparently, it's just an empty lot, right? They're, they're going to build a house there. You know about all those permits, though, right? Once you get into the permitting phase, things can get tricky. Apparently, it's My all man, set, it's though. Florida. There are it's no Florida? rules. Not like, okay. It's not like what I tried doing. No, there's no rules. Okay. okay. Uh, I think this would be a treat, a very big treat, if, if he's the player that you think he's going to be, right, Herc? If he's that pre-injury name or even something close to it before he went to Saudi. Uh, if you think about what those three guys did when they were at Barcelona, I mean, the numbers are staggering, right? Uh, close to 400 goals, close to 300 assists, seven trophies in the four years that they were together. They dominated the, the best football in the world. You would figure, even if it is a few years later, they would dominate here. But Herc, on Halloween, we should note, that's a pretty scary proposition. Inter-Miami is already dominating the league without a guy like Neymar. If you give Neymar to the team that just you know, racked up a points record, clinched the supporter shield, uh, what is 2025 going to look like for this team? Now, the if here, the trick is the health for me around Neymar? What kind of player are you getting? And what do the finances of this look like? A couple reasons. If I were Miami, I'd wait till at least the summer hurt because there's some reports saying that maybe they could negotiate a fee with Al-Halal, buy him out, and bring him here. I'd wait six months. I don't think Inter-Miami needs Neymar in the next six months of next year to make this happen. And the other thing is the reality that I don't think Neymar's going to get like a messy type deal his ego might suggest that that's what he wants. But I think if you're in Miami here, you got to say, I'm doing this at the right place. I don't necessarily feel like I have to do this like I did with Messi. Do you agree with me there? Or do you think Neymar, no matter what, is worth any sticker price for Inter-Miami? Well, not any sticker price, but I don't think that's going to be what we're talking about. I do see a situation where, like Major League Soccer, Big Brother has always done, they step in. They try to bridge the gap if you will bring the parties together and push it over the line listen i know it's scary seb 
Diving into the deep end. I know when we talk about Neymar, we got to talk about everything he entails. Carnival, the injuries, the lack of interest in everything but football. But you cannot deny that this man anywhere close to just healthy, forget about 100%, just healthy, would absolutely destroy Major League defenders. This is a player who, at his peak, there's only two other players that can parallel him, and that's Cristiano and Messi in their peak. He really was that guy. He's only 32 years of age. I don't think it's lost. I don't think it's gone. I don't think it's going to take something crazy to get him here. And maybe you're on to something. What comes next summer, summer 2025, when he's a free agent? Do we know what comes? What, what What's going to happen? Is there anything World important Cup, that you baby. could say? The Club World Cup! Absolutely! That could be a massive, massive, not for Neymar, mm -hmm. a massive carrot dangling in front of him for Major League Soccer and Inter Miami. Uh, this makes sense, but I understand the hesitation. I understand people being, I don't know about this. Certainly at the numbers, right? Just the, the salary he's reportedly getting right now in Saudi Arabia between 80 to $100 million, plus use of a private plane, plus a mansion. I don't know if Inter Miami can afford all that, but maybe they can get close and uh, get Neymar over here into Major League Soccer.